This video will help you get started with the free trend software from C Cubed. We will explain the hierarchical site structure of Freetrend and show you how to create a site, how to create an asset and how to download these sites and assets to the Pocket Vibra program on the handheld. Right, let's have a look how the site structure works in Freetrend. This is the main Freetrend screen. On the left hand side you can see the Asset Manager tab. By clicking on the Asset Manager you can then see a list of the sites held within the Freetrend database. Right, I'm now going to click on the CCube site and you can then see a list of assets and at the bottom the root folder which contains information on routes around the assets. Right, I'm now going to click on the first asset Grinder 1 and you can see in the main tab now a list of the measurement points for Grinder 1. Also you can see, as well as vibration points, there's other information held here, such as condition and temperature of that asset. Clicking on Grinder 1 gives me the latest asset status table for this asset. Here we can see on the right hand side, each measurement point name, the date and time the last reading was taken, and the status for each reading. If I select any of the status values, in this case the alarm on the motor drive horizontal, I will produce a table showing all the different measurement statuses. This allows you to see instantaneously the values and alarm conditions of all the different types of measurement that can be taken on an asset in Freetrend. Clicking on any point within this table will take me straight to the trend graph for that value. Here I'm going to click on ISO and this will bring up the trend graph for the ISO plot for the motor drive horizontal value. Below the list of assets on a site is the root folder. This is where all the common routes for measurement points can be stored. A route is a series of measurement points between one or more assets. OK, so let's use Freetrend to create a new site. To create my new site, I right click on Asset Manager and select Add Site. Now I need to give the site a unique site reference which in this case is going to be Test Corp. And if I want I can give it a site name for internal use. I'm going to call this TC24X. Now I simply hit Create. We can see the Test Corp site has been added at the bottom of the Asset Manager list of sites along with its roots folder. OK, so now we have a site, we now need to add one or more assets. I'm now going to add three fans to my Test Corp site. Right click on Test Corp and select Add Asset. I need to give the asset a unique ID. In this case it's going to be fan number one. Also I can give it a serial number or any other information which will make that fan identifiable. In this case it's serial number 1234 and a location as the plant room. And click next. As it's a fan I'm going to use the fan wizard. I simply need to enter the nominal RPM, in this case 1440, and hit next. I now have the opportunity to define any other information I wish the user to take. I'm going to add a text-based field called condition. And also a numeric field called run speed. I'm going to add an alarm condition to this run speed. So the first thing I need to do is activate alarms and select valid warning and alarm readings. In this case I'm going to set an alarm value of 1500 RPM and a warning value of 1480 RPM and select OK. Finally I'm going to add one more numeric field and this is going to be 
run hours. But in this case, I don't want to alarm. So I'll just select OK. And then create. You can see I now have my asset fan1 with its inherent measurement points. Now, to create fans 2 and 3 is simply a case of copying and pasting. So I'll right click on fan 1, select copy, right click on test corp and select paste. I need to give it a unique asset ID. So in this case, it's going to be fan 2. And do the same again to create fan 3. One thing left for me to do is to assign their serial numbers. So I'm going to select fan2, right click and edit the asset and type in its serial number. And update. And right click and edit fan3 and type in its serial number. Finally, by clicking and dragging and dropping I can change the order which the assets appear in. I've now created all my assets. My final task is now to download the new site and assets to the Pocket Vibra Pro handheld. Before starting downloading it's important to make sure that the Pocket Vibra handheld is connected to the PC and the Active Sync is running and showing as connected. To synchronize sites to the handheld Pocket Vibra unit, simply click on the Sync Sites button at the top of the screen. Then check any of the sites that you wish to synchronize. In this case, we're just going to synchronize the Test Corp site. Press the Sync button and the Synchronize window will automatically open. Any conflicts between sites will be displayed in this window. This process normally takes about 30 seconds. If we now look at the Pocket Vibra screen and simply click on the Asset Manager, you will see the Test Corp site is present. Clicking on the Test Corp site will show fans 1, 2 and 3. The synchronization has been successful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please take the opportunity to look at the others in the series or for further information please visit our website www.pocketvibra.com